To demonstrate the use of functions, I'm going to go ahead and use a real simple concept here where we bring in our customer's name, customer bill, the tax, and the total. So what we can do is we can use the three different ways that we kind of described functions, um, like ones that return nothing, one that has parameters and return nothing, then one that has parameters and return something, all these different ways we can use them, we're going to go ahead and show you here. So this first one is just going to be setting up the actual code here for the project. So you can see I have four different boxes here. And got the label. I also have the discount option and then the calculate button. Historically, we have done a lot of this in the calculate button, but today will be the first day we kind of walk away from that a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and set up my variables real quick. I'll zoom in here so you can see this a little better. So, where we set up our variables still can be in the same spot. And for this argument point, I will. So I have dim bill as double dim tax as double equals point zero zero seven, and then dim total as double. So we got those three variables set up. Let's go ahead and do a fork for string for the name. And we're going to have to call it something else like customer. Okay, so I'm just setting the stage here. And what we'll do is we'll first do a function that just brings in the information coming up next. 